So you're taking the Humber College salesperson course and you're at course number two and want to know how you can get through all the readings, pass the course, the most efficient and effective way. Well, today I have that for you. Before we start, my name is Umar Khan. I'm a 21 year old real estate investor and I created this channel to talk about real estate and personal development. However, I am in the transition of getting my real estate license and I am going through the Humber College course. So I decided to create this video to help those who are also going through it. So the largest challenge I found with the Humber College course number two in particular is it's a very large course. Just after reading module two, you realize how much dense the content becomes and how large the, each lesson becomes and it gets really intimidating. So what I found the most effective way for me was to download it as a PDF and go through it that way. I don't know what it is, but just hitting next and next and next and not knowing how many slides are left was really demotivating versus downloading the PDF and tells you how many pages it is and going, okay, I have to do X amount of pages if I want to finish the course by X amount of time. That way was the most efficient way for me because I went through course uh, lesson module one module two module three and i think it took me like i want to say two months again i was going like really slow and then on module three i realized i'm like damn this is going too slow so what i did was my it's funny i was using my tablet to study and it was really like glitchy so i downloaded the pdf and it was so much more smoother and i was able to just read it so much faster i was more motivated to finish because i saw the pages going down so that's what i totally recommend another thing i recommend is pair it with pass it so if you don't know what pass it is pass it.ca or .com i'll put it up on the screen right now is a website where it's it goes through like uh it has a term um a term uh, like a term reminder kind of thing where it like, practices different terms you learn in, the, in said course. It has the best and most valuable feature for me is a multiple choice test because even when you get the answers wrong, it shows you the right answer. And that's super effective and awesome because you know, you're taking these practices over and over again. And if you keep getting the wrong answer, you'll see what the right answer is. And instead of memorizing it and trying to, trying to do it, um, always try to get the memorized answer, you realize this is why. So it, it helps kind of reverse your brain. And what I found with course one, I also took past it was the exam is very similar, if not the same questions. So it's really interesting how you can be ahead of the game by just taking this and it's 10 weeks long, meaning you could take 10 weeks to study course number two, pair it with the, um, pair it with the past it, and then you'd be perfect because you could study one course, then take the practice test, study, uh, sorry, study one module, take the practice test. Module two, practice test. Module three, practice test. And then towards the end, you can do a, a, an overall test and it'll show you exactly what areas you're weak in. So you can go back and read those slides. And again, if you're the PDF, it's so much more easier and convenient to go through it. That's why I think that's the ultimate way on how you can pass. And here's the thing. Another motivational point for you is, realistically speaking, there's 20 modules and the longest module is about 140 pages. So if you could bang out let's just say a module a day, which would be challenging, but you could do. You would have to put three to four, maybe even six hours a day. And trust me, I have a full-time job. So if I could do it, I'm sure you could manage a way to squeeze it in two. You could try it. What, I, what, I'm, what I'm doing from course three forward, like right now, um, what, I'm, what I did course three forward was a module a day. Right? And that way you're able to, you're obviously not gonna read in depth. You can kind of like skim through and just go through it fast. And depending on your learning style, that might be effective for you, but then you put all your energy in the practice test. So module, practice, module, practice, module, practice test, and you'll read all of them. Then you do the practice test. And essentially you have 10 weeks time to study because you paid for the 10 weeks on passing and boom, that's it. It's a simple guide on how you do this. And you can take this and apply it to the other courses too. And based off the website, I believe course number two is one of the longest ones. So if you could bingo course number two, let's just say in 10 weeks, you, I'm, I'm sure you could easily achieve the rest. And I will talk about course number three once I get to that point and other regular update videos on the Humber College course. So that being said, guys, I hope you can implement these, these strategies. If you have a different strategy or learning strategy from someone else, definitely comment down below. I'd love to take a look and see it and try to use it myself because we're all trying to get through this. And my goal now is to be fully done and complete this real estate course by June and start making money in real estate and turn this into a full-time career. And if you enjoyed content like this, do make sure you subscribe. Like I said earlier, this channel is all about personal development, investing, and there also will be Humber College related content on the channel. So if you enjoy videos like this, do make sure you subscribe. Until next time, folks, I'll see you on the next one.